Proverbs chapter 18, verse 3. When the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt, and with ignominy reproach. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Wakar Kadash. Double honor to mighty cheers, the apostles and the others of Great Millstone. Shalom to Yakim worldwide that are sincere and serious in the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wakar Kadash, Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. You all, you have the bird disciple Kosha Banyamin, and um, I want to provide two videos done by RT. And um, what you searching, what you saw Edom is trying to do is erase campaigners, erase history of slavery. You say they're trying to erase history of slavery because, um. It had become a shame unto him. It has become a shame unto him and his whole nation. Right? That's why you see the acting the way they are. You see? So I can play this video here. Then another one behind this. I'll just get a scripture and this video will be completed. Digging deep into Britain's historical injustices are now making calls for the country's leading left-wing newspaper to be shut down. A thousand-strong petition accuses The Guardian of being hypocritical in supporting the Black Lives Matter movement, pointing to the fact that the paper was founded from the fortunes of a 19th-century cotton merchant who used slaves. The petition also details how The Guardian originally supported Confederacy in the American Civil War, coming out against President Lincoln's moves to abolish slavery. And the paper is just one of the liberal outlets being targeted by the left in Britain right now, as Saskia Taylor reports. Poor old Blighty, once an empire that spanned a quarter of the world's landmass, and now back to haunt today's generations. To a lot of people of colour on this planet, the British Empire was not that far from the Third Reich, if you're really honest. With the BLM movement galvanised like never before, people are taking a baseball bat at a few things seen as quintessentially British. And the Crown was first in line. My name is Elizabeth. We have a new sovereign, young and a woman. The Crown must win. No, don't worry, that jewel is safe. For now, but Queen Victoria did get a most unregal bath after protesters daubed the words slave owner at her feet. A few subjects suffered the same fate. Bristol City benefactor and notorious slave trader Edward Colston took a dip in the harbour after being toppled. And then there's Winnie Churchill, once proudly looking over Westminster and now boxed up. Not even the dreaming spies of Oxford escaped unscathed. Apparently, it too must pay penance for the British Empire's diabolical past. The university, currently a hive of colonial amnesia and inequality, must once and for all improve its intake of black and minority ethnic British students and students from countries that the UK has colonized and exploited. Other prestigious and historic centres of learning have also been told to do some serious soul-searching. They must now decolonize the canon and teach the dangers of white privilege. But one staple of British life decided to get ahead of the curve and do some reforming before being looted. Major tea brands PG Tips and Yorkshire Tea say that racist customers are officially persona non cuppa. Please don't buy our tea again. We're taking some time to educate ourselves and plan proper action before we post. We stand against racism. Which does rather conveniently gloss over the fact that the origins of the great British brew are quite literally rooted in imperial history and that the industry continues to use and underpay workers in India. So really, no laughing matter. Oh, speaking of which, even major TV comedies are getting a go-over from the reappraisal prism. Britain, Britain. 
land of technological achievement. We've had running water for over 10 years, an underground tunnel that links us to Peru. David and I have both spoken publicly in recent years of our regret that we played characters of other races. Once again, we want to make it clear that it was wrong and we are very sorry. But you know, I think if they banned the English weather, or rather the endless conversations about it, well, that, that's when Britain would truly just fall to pieces. Yeah, you see? So uh, the pushing to purge the heritage of its racist legacy. So the, 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 the word ignominy means shame, right? So for all the wrong that he saw Edom has done, now he's coming back to haunt him. So now he's trying to cover his tracks, so to speak, trying to please the poor, right? Trying to please the poor. To show some sort of um, compassion and, 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 you know? To show that they they they, they are they are um, sorry for what they did, but the scripture says, "He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity." So now let me get this word here. Let me get Habakkuk chapter two, and verse twelve. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, and establish a city by iniquity. And this is how America was founded, rape, robbery, and murder. Right. Britain, etc. They took all the limestone from Barbados and carried it over to England and Britain. That's how you know uh, it was built. See? Right? Um, watch this. Watch this different uh, translation here, Noah. Uh, in the NLT. What sorrow awaits you who build cities with money gain through murder and corruption? And this is what America has done. This is what the Edomite race have done. They have built a city through corruption, through murder, through rape, right? Through, through um, covetous means, right? IV, woe to him who builds a city with bloodshed and establishes a town by injustice. And again, this is how America got down. This is how the Edomite race got down. So that's why their whole nation is is um is feeling the way they feel, trying to purge their past of um unlawful deeds, right? So we jump on to verse 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink all drink thou also, and let thy force can be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned into thee. Shall be turned unto thee. And shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. You see? So shameful spewing is on Esau Edom. Because their nakedness is being seen, meaning everything they had hidden is now coming out. So they're trying to erase all the past injustices, injustices that they have done, right? Habakkuk 2.16, but soon it will be, this is the NLT, but soon it will be your turn to be disgraced. Come, drink and be exposed. Drink from the cup of the Lord's judgment, and all your glory will be turned to shame. So it's time for Esau Edom to drink the cup that we have drunk. You understand? It's time for them to be disgraced. 
right? It's time for them. It's time for them to feel the way we feel, right? Like you're seeing it happening right before your eyes. Like I said, that was the train to erase. Strong's H, 7022. Kick alone. Kick alone. The past, right? It says that the word for, sh for, sh for spewing. It says intense disgrace, shameful. Shameful spewing, right? Disgrace, shame. <coughs> right? Ignomy. Right? And the word ignominy means shame. Right? The word ignominy means shame. That's why I started with Proverbs eating a tree. Right? Uh, dishonor is the root word, right? Calon. Confusion, reproach, shame. Right? It says ignominy of nations. So the whole nation. The whole nation is feeling the brunt of their past wicked deeds of slavery. The whole nation, dishonor, disgrace, see, contempt, shame, ignominy, right? A shameful deed, you see, a shameful deed. So the whole nation of Edom have done a shameful deed. They read about the brothers eating a tree. When the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt, and with ignominy reproach. So the whole nation, right, is going to be reproached. You understand? Because of the wickedness they have done. And they're going to be shamed. They're going to be embarrassed at their past. You see? So all the monuments that they have that have been put up all the slave traders are being toppled down you're going to get some resistance from you know the KKK etc but for the most part for the most part it's going to be a shame unto them right so we're going to go back here because it was another word I saw um, It was another definition I saw of Slovakia. Slovakia about that. Back in Habakkuk chapter 2. Right? Habakkuk 2 and um... See? Habakkuk 2, well, verse 5. Yeah, also... <coughs> Slovakia, because he transgresses by one, he is a proud man. See, <laughs> he is another transgression man by one, or his different philosophies. Huh? He is a proud man, neither keep it at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gareth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? And the taunting proverb against him, and say a woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long, and to him that leadeth himself with thick clear, he saw Edom. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and await that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them? You see, so because of all the, the wickedness he saw Edom has done, all the nations are going to turn against him. That's right. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. You see? So you thought Edom has a lot to pay for, for what he has done. No, he is another, another video later profile, which is this one here. Churchill, no, delete. Oh, interesting, interesting. I mean, hasn't done anything yet, but might. So, delete. What started as a protest against police brutality and inequality has evolved into a movement to reboot the world. But as we 
re-examine our history and build this prejudice-free utopia, the excessive use of the corrector pen has left some with the feeling that re-examination is a politically correct synonym for censorship. Take cinema, for example. My sister was actually named after the house in the highest grossing movie of all time, Gone with the Wind. Imagine the shock when she woke up and just found herself persona non grata after HBO Max pulled the cult movie from its platform. These racist depictions were wrong then and are wrong today and we felt that to keep this title up without an explanation and a denouncement of those depictions will be irresponsible. It will return, but with a little history lesson at the beginning to, you know, really get you in the mood. Another classic, Little Britain, has also been dropped from streaming platforms because of its use of blackface characters, which actually some might say is unfair, because, well, Justin Trudeau, he's still Prime Minister, isn't he? Hey, was that no paper cup? I see it in here. Mm. So now me cannot grip properly. So me got no option but to close early, which, as you know, me hates to do. There's a lot of historical programming available on BBC iPlayer, which we regularly review. Times have changed since Little Britain first aired, so it's not currently available on BBC iPlayer. Also, now it's totally legit to just pull down any public monument you don't like, just roll it into the river afterwards. Oh, and don't worry if you see children wandering around a bit lost. Their street might have been renamed. New York's doing that by renaming one street in each of its five boroughs Black Lives Matter, bit confusing, and then painting it on the actual road itself so that no one can accuse the authorities of moving in the wrong direction. What will be clear is the street name and on the streets of our city is that message that now the city must fully, fully deeply feel, and this nation must as well, that black lives matter. Even language itself is being rewritten. Probably the last company who ever thought they could get into any trouble was a dictionary publisher. But one woman in Missouri found that nasty old Merriam-Webster doesn't include the systematic oppression of a group of people in its many-lined entry under the word racism. So it's undergoing some serious revision. Also defined as changing absolutely everything for fear of being cancelled. This is the kind of continuous revision that's part of the work of keeping the dictionary up to date based on rigorous criteria and research we employ in order to describe the language as it's actually used. While in Germany, the word race might be banned from the constitution altogether. We have to unlearn racism. The word race should be removed from the basic law. There is no such things as race. There are only people. And finally, you might have seen that people saying all lives matter, and not specifically black lives matter, get some a bit riled up. Well, don't worry, because now your phone will keep you on the straight and narrow. Siri, do all lives matter? All lives matter is often used in response to the phrase black lives matter, but it does not represent the same concerns. To learn more about the black lives matter human rights movement, visit blacklivesmatter.com. And actually, now that I've got Siri here with us, let's fire another question its way. Siri, can I delete history I don't like? Interesting question. Come now, Siri, why so shy suddenly? Well, apparently, the answer is, yes, we can. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 35. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. So you are seeing Esau Edom. What they're doing, they're trying to erase history, right? They're trying to please the poor, right? They want to show that they have so-called change, but really they may change. They're just um, trying to please the people. But the ever thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Job 20 and 10, his children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods, you see? <coughs> So they're trying to please the poor, they're trying to um, so-called make up for the history that was so barbaric. That's right. So let me just get one more. Um, there's a different transition I read earlier that really. Um, that really
really you see this is the um, New King James Version you are filled with shame instead of glory yeah because everything they've done man you're seeing it now being unraveled you also drink and be exposed as uncircumcised yeah unclean right the cup of the Lord's right hand will be turned against you and other shame will be on your glory so let me get the cup now and then shut this shop huh? this is Psalms 75 Psalm 75 And verse um, 6 for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but number one say the judge he put it down one and set it up another for in the hand of the Lord there is a cup and the wine is red it is full of mixture and he pours forth the same but the dregs thereof all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them so Esau Edom is about to drink the cup of the Lord's right hand for everything they have done. This is the only way um, Numbers 35 This is the only way that justice will come. Right? We will regard no ransom meaning because there is a scripture that says um, Jealousy is the rage of a man, right? And he will not spare any day of vengeance. He will not regard ransom. So, no matter what gifts you eat and might bring to try to please the poor, right? When our husband returns because um, you 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 raped us, you robbed us, you murdered us. When our husband returns, whose name is Yahushai Hamashiach, Yah means he, and Yahushai means deliverer or savior. Hamashiach means the anointed. Right? He will not regard ransom. Don't care what gifts you bring. It will not work. Numbers 35 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So the only way out is for you to receive what we receive. But you are going to receive double. Shalom.